So let's see what is inside. It's lovely packaging, isn't it? Intro the video, but basically a few weeks ago, if you saw my other video, I tried to review Michelin starred afternoon tea, but the footage was all corrupt, so I couldn't do it. And then I saw that they launched a Christmas one, and I thought, hey, Christmas afternoon tea, grace heaven. So I bought it, and we're going to review it. Me and Papa Booth are going to review it for you. So let's get started. Beautiful. You want to say that for yeah. a present? It is a ooey. Oolong tea, a rich and buttery oolong tea lifted by caramel sweetness and subtle floral notes infused for three minutes in water at 100 degrees to enjoy the full range of aroma from the tea. And then we have a little card. <laughs> Happy Christmas. And it's got a little stampy pampy on it. Okay, here we go. You haven't told me what it is. You'll see when we unveil it. Oh, I thought you were going to read through it. Is it going to be as beautiful as last time? Yeah, it will be, won't it? They went up, up, up to class on. Oh, yeah. These are the sweet treats. This is what we've got going on in here. We've got, this is a pistachio eclair. Much better than last time's one, I think. Is that a macaroon? Yeah. Macaroon, a little, and then hey, in here. Hey, macaroon. <laughs> we've got clotted cream. Of course. That's and we've most, got. The most important aspect. Do you think it's gone? Yeah. <laughs> really? You liked this last time. <laughs> then we have the strawberry and poppy flower, oh, which yeah, dad that loved that. Then we've got a little Yule log. I do enjoy a Yule log. We've got these, which we didn't like last time, but I wonder if they're different now. And then these, we've only got, oh no, we've got four sandwiches. Yeah, baby, here it is. Yeah. Yay, we're rolling. And I think we're in focus this time. You need a little, need a little knife. Oh gosh, okay. So we are here with dad. Right there, he's a bit tired. Why are you a bit tired? You're about to have cake. Don't be tired. He's getting in the zone for a bit of cake. We did just have lunch because we didn't think it was just coming. A sandwich. We just had a little bacon sandwich. But it's fine, isn't it? Yeah. So, shall we begin with the sarnies? Let's yes, go for it. Right, do you want to present the menu? I really um, want to try this one. However, this guy has some kale on top or something. What's this on top? Assorted sandwiches. Egg guru. Sorry, French people. That's probably not the right way to say it. There's an egg sandwich. Is that an egg? That's the egg one. That's the egg one. Is that kale? Who's yeah. that one? It's the Christmas truffle brioche bun. Oh, yeah. With a black, black truffle, truffle, cream cheese, cheese and a red, red currant, currant kale. kale. Why kale? Why must they do that? Do you want the kale half or the red currant? Why do you get a proper knife? Why not? Because that's not going to do very well through there. Yeah, it's so well, soft and tender. Love. Which one going for this one? Well, I, I quite like. You don't like kale. Is that the red currant? Right. Not the right current. I can already smell the truffle. Oh, he's going, he's not here to mess around. He's doing all in one. Truffly, isn't it? Too truffly. It's quite nice. Well then, give your, give your evaluation. I just did. It's all right. It's all right. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't like. It's very truffly. strong truffle. Mm. Cheese is good. Is there cheese in that? Yeah. I don't think there's any cheese. Oh, oh yeah, cream nice. cheese. The kale was fun. I didn't have any, I wouldn't know. How was the red currant? Yeah, nice little burst of. Fruity. Saucy. It was all right. Yeah, it was okay. The brioche bun was nice and soft. We'll give it, it to them. We'll let them have it. Okay, up next we have got the weird one from last time, but this one got a lot of praise from you. Remember? Oh, this maybe. little guy. Oh, yeah. This is the coronation oh, oh, chicken. I'm gonna, sorry, we need a proper knife. Perfect Wait. little goblet for me. I'll give one to mommy. Mommy. Right, here goes. What are we saying? Mm. Love it. You're around very few words today. I really like it. Nice taste, nice flavour, nice bread. And that's it. Oh well, yeah. Mm -hmm. What are we saying about the bread? You've got to get into it. What's the little well, bit of pickled onion on the top? The li little bit the, on the The floppy bit on top. What was that? What is that? Is that cheese? I don't know, but it's a point of discussion. Isn't it? We don't, don't know. know. <laughs> baby coriander. No, that was no, that the baby was the little, coriander. Little thing on the top. We'd like it's to know, extreme. please, what the yellow slice was on top. Also, this is the tea. We've got to do a tea taste. <laughs> Apparently, actually, um, um, yeah, you have to do it for the flavour. <laughs> Just try. That's actually quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> you actually like that? Yeah. It's only like it. got milk in it. No, I like it's it. It's quite refreshing. Mm. Palate cleanser. Perfect for afternoon nice. tea. Right, should we go for the next one? We'll get the bad one out of the way, which yeah, is the cucumber. 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 That's a devil food. I actually really. Oh, oh but mate. No, that's wrong. There's so many levels. <laughs> What's this 
zhuzh. This is new. The zhuzh wasn't there last time, was it? The thing is, if I'm honest, you couldn't make a worse sandwich if you tried. Why would you put the wettest vegetable on bread which retains moisture? I don't physically understand who thought cucumber on a sandwich. Was I a good love idea. a cucumber sandwich. Yeah, you're getting a big one. Oh, I love it. What like love what is the it. point? They're the best. Okay. It's is Melanie. <laughs> but I don't understand that. <laughs> it tastes like Melanie. Melon. Melon. <laughs> tastes like melon. Quick, let's get another taste. That's not, right. that's really nice. Oh, really? No. That's not a bit. That literally just tastes like a bit of hovis bread and a cucumber. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I don't understand. Cucumber sandwiches. It's an English thing, isn't it? Yeah, those English people, honestly. English. What are they like? <laughs> Bit scandy. The cat's whiskers. No, it does, yeah. Doesn't it? Look, 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 look. drop it. <laughs> what else is in that? Something really nice. <laughs> Flipping cucumber again. Yeah, I was going to say this is. I isn't... thought it was. I've got to wash that down. You want a bit? Come on. <laughs> Drink up, Cherry. <laughs> A little pat on the head, it's like I've been force, force fed. Really like the smoked rose and salmon, mm. but I wasn't a f lover of that cucumber. And, and ricotta! Again. And it was ricotta! Yeah, ricotta's not too bad. Alright. But. <laughs> and then we've cucumber. got to have. We've got to have these. These are the egg goichu oh, yeah, tree. Yeah, we, we weren't a lover of them. No, but they might be different this time. Half. Half. Let's half it. Let's half it. Was it me or was it a touch of. Fish. It tastes a bit fishy, doesn't it? I just still think it's, is it one of those things that tastes better when it's warm? It's a scotch egg vibe, isn't it? Oh no, can't put that in the same league as a scotch egg. Should we do the scone now? Yeah, why not? Do you do, is that the proper way you do it? Yeah, because when you work up, if you've got an afternoon tea, you go sandwiches, scones, cake. Like Portland, did it? Here is the scone. That looks good. Oh, he's not even... <laughs> and it's got, oh, what, wipe it, wipe it. It's got all that cheese cack on it. It doesn't matter too much, does it? <clears throat> Yes. Does it? It's all my delicate flavours, my delicate palate. You know the sign of a good I scone? I do know the sign of a good scone. Because I say it every time. Yeah, it open. If you do this and it breaks in half, that's a good scone. Scone. That's not... That's a good that's scone. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> but I do like the fact you've got currants. I appreciate that. You start with that. I think it should be clotted cream first. I do love the jam. Strawberry. Why are you being difficult? Yours does go in. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. I've got the exact same spoon as you. It doesn't go in. Yes, it does. <laughs> I think clotted cream should go first because it's well, acts as a wrong No, it acts as a butter to adhere the jam to it. Also, you don't want too much That's clotted that. cream. No. What are you talking about? Yes. Once it's gone, it's gone. Firmly. That that is good. Yeah. That jam is good, jam. and the clotted cream is quite pleasant. It's a jam. Clotted it's... cream is always pleasant. Put it down with a little bit of tea. You right? That's pen. <laughs> we need to go to a fan like a fancy restaurant and see how it is. You like when they have tiny portions? Oh, you don't want to? Alright, no, I'll go to it then. No, okay. London's best rated restaurant, shall we? Best? Yeah. I'm not for that. Yeah. On to the next. Do you want to start with a Yule log? Yule log. I feel like I'm saying that word. Yule log. Or bouche de Noël. That's what it is in French. Is it? Yeah. I'm learning French in Duolingo. Mm. I know what woman is. Femme. Yeah? Here is... <laughs> What's up next? What's this? That jam is banging. This is a bit well, of I don't you. know where you get that jam from, but it's so good. Poppy flowers. But where do they get it from? They make it. Do they? Yeah. Good people. Yeah, sketch. Come on. Is it made by them though? Or yeah. do they just get it in and put it in a little pot? I think it's made by them. I trust them. A raspberry macaron. Raspberry and blackcurrant. You nice. love that. And a little bit of gold. That's nice gold. I wonder how much that was. Oh, very Christmas. That's giving strong... We haven't had much Christmas from it yet. No. It's... Where's the Christmas sandwich? I don't... I'm not a big macaron. Macaroon? Macaron? It's macaron. President Macaron. Mac macaron? <laughs> Take this macaron to your <laughs> lovely wedded wife. Do you have a tongue tie? What? What for them? Mum, isn't it that some kids get their tongue tie cut? Why? 
Mum and I both have it. You have a tongue tie too, don't you? Yeah. What's a tongue tie? It means it's Look, not there. Look, I had mine cut there. <laughs> that wasn't a tongue tie, that was a muscle that kept my teeth outwardly going. But that was a horse. <laughs> Who one's got one? Look, it happened! Show me yours. Oh. My life is a lie. Mum said that you... I was supposed to get it cut when I was a baby. I don't think so. Mum, didn't you say that? No. You're having me on. That's a You're right. Okay, this looks like not a bit of me. Oh, that looks Santa. great. <laughs> no, I'd, I'd seriously say that looks great. I love the red and a little bit of shine on it. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> That's Christmas right there. <laughs> I love how into it you are. Oh, no, I love that. <laughs> A cherry, cherry and, and coconut blow. This is your favourite. <laughs> the moose, the moose, I bet you too. I actually not, quite like that. That's not me. That's you. Mm. It tastes like I'm... And I had cherry. I have had mm. cherry. Yeah. I'm getting cherry, I'm getting did coconut. You have, did you have enough of cherry? Huh? You actually had a cherry. The... Did you have a cherry? No. Oh, I had half a cherry. There's a cherry in there? Mm -hmm. That is exactly what it says that it is. That looks luxurious. <laughs> Got that shiny... Moosey top. You really like this one? I do like it. You are gonna love this. Am I? Pistachio and Eclair. Pistachio and Eclair. This... Nice. You think it's cinnamon? Mmm, definitely. It's throwing me out of whack. No, it's nice. I think it's probably a good job it's small. If it's a big one, it'd be too much. Cranberry Battenberg. Looks like a cherry. I'm gonna vote like that. That marzipan mm. was like fake. You like that? I think the marzipan was a bit like fondant. I actually, yeah. it was only when you said marzipan, marzipan, that I realised it was marzipan supposed to be around it, not a fondant icing. That's what's throwing me off. I didn't like the outside. That's athletics. I like sweet things. Yeah, but that, that was a bit of a disappointment, if I'm honest. I was buzzing for that Battenberg, and all it's done is absolutely battered me to the ground. That's how I feel. Naughty Battenberg. Naughty Battenberg. This is our last mini chocolate and caramel cake. I fundamentally think that desserts should be exclusively chocolate. Get the fruit out. I don't think that you're wrong. wrong. No. You're wrong. I don't want to faff around with fruit in a dessert. If I want fruit, I'm going to have fruit. If I want chocolate, I'm going to have chocolate. What's about an apple pie? Here you go. Rich. Mum? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a little chocolate. Underwhelming. So, this right here is... A Buse de Noël. Or a Yule Log. Whatever one you want to go for. I don't think I like... Well, actually, I don't know about moosey things. I don't yeah. like moo. You like the cherry one! No, and that I like one. It's okay. Very I guess bitter. It's just a lot of mousse and fondant. I think we started off so strong with that cherry globe for you, and we've gone kind of downhill, haven't we? <coughs> for me. So all in all, what are we saying, buddy? So what are we doing out of ten, or out of ten? You can do out of ten. I might break it down, Take savory, it. and then add them together. So we're out of five. You see, as soon as it comes down with me, probably sound. three. With the sandwiches. Mm. That's a low blow. That's low. Out of five, that is. It's quite low. Four. So that'd be a seven out of ten, I think, for me. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's quite high. Not bad. Yeah, well, it's decent. I mean, it's quality, quality things. Quality presentation's good, but <coughs> as a gift, I get it because it's it's special. It looks good and it looks nice. So, to, for someone to arrive and get that, they would feel spoiled and they would feel. How would you feel if I said that was fifty pounds? Does that change it? It's well, because it's pounds, a gift. I don't know it's gone. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we halved everything, didn't we? Yeah. I don't think it's screen Christmas. I think there are little notes of Christmas. Yeah, it's quite nice. Little buckle on the cherry, <laughs> little snowflake on your in the Yule log. Obviously, the Yule log itself. Savour is no, not at all. I feel like, no, there was the one that was the Christmas truffle bun. You need some turkey, don't you? Stuffing. Ham. Stuffing. Ham. Why do you sound like you had a cold? <laughs> you sound like you had a cold. Pringles. Pringles. <laughs> That's not really sketch level, is it? I just think Pringles are so good. I love them. You anyway. Really want crisps in an afternoon tea. Sorry, crisp sandwich. Crisp sandwich is good. Yeah, but not a sketch. Game is Christmas. Like partridge, pheasant, rabbit. Veil. Gammon. Veil. Veal. Veal. Grouse. Those sorts of things. There. So if they were in there, so having that as a coronation turkey. Wow, someone should be a product developer. I think I should. Yeah, crikey. You can have that one for nothing. Those little <laughs> nuances of Christmas I just gave you. No mincemeat either in there. 
Christmas pudding? He's on one now. He come wants, on, come you on, want guys. it more Christmas day. Think smarter, not harder. <laughs> Just small tweaks, isn't it? What do you call that? <laughs> when it's like, it helps the trajectory, like what the Olympic cyclists did. They are called marginal gains. Marginal gains, people! Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you, Papa Blue, for being part of this. We love you all. Pleasure as always. No, we love you all. Punks. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, and we love you all. So much. <laughs> we love you all loads. I'm not even oh, going to let yeah. you down that one. So, we peace do. out, punks. We love you. Peace out. Bye.